Hello, thank you for joining me this week. Today we're going to be feeding the tadpoles for the first time and also I want to start on an exciting new project by turning this garden behind me into a haven for wildlife. We'll be doing all sorts of things in the back here which I'll take you through and explain everything in a moment. First, let's go feed those tadpoles and see how they're getting on from last week. Welcome to Frog Watch. So this is now the fourth series of Frog Watch that I've done over the years and I'm constantly surprised by things that I see in the tank. If you saw the last episode, uh, you remember I did a water change because the water was looking pretty dirty. And even after I'd done that, I was still complaining that the water still looked pretty murky and I need to do maybe a couple more water changes to kind of get it clean. And also I tried to remove all of the leftover spawn that was uh, uh, making the bottom of the tank look a real mess. And I couldn't get it out because it was so fragmentary and I kind of left it in there. Um, but you look at the tank now and you'll see that the water is really clear and all of that mess at the bottom of the gravel is gone. I didn't do anything. I haven't done a single more uh, water change since last time and I haven't taken out any of the mess at the bottom. I haven't cleaned anything since the last video. Um, but it has, it's kind of cleaned itself and the tadpoles have done that. They've actually eaten everything that was at the bottom and the water's just cleared up really, really nice. And I'm constantly surprised by the things that I see. A uh, bit of bad news though, the snails we put in last week, they haven't done very well and I'm pretty sure that they're all dead. I don't know why. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not that impressed with the uh, the aquatic section of the pet shop that I got them from. When the guy at the pet shop was uh, picking out snails for me, he did pick up several and put them back again because they were empty shells. You know, Obviously they die quite frequently in the tanks at the shop, so I'm not surprised that these haven't uh, survived. It is a real shame. Um, but that didn't work out. So the snails haven't played any part in cleaning this tank. It's all the tadpoles. They've done it all themselves. Uh, but anyway, today we are going to be feeding them for the first time because they've eaten everything that's in there now and I think it's about time we start feeding them uh, additional food. And to do that, we'll be giving them a leaf of spinach. And I'm going to show you the process that I go through uh, to make sure they get fed. At this stage of their lives, tadpoles are herbivores, so we will be feeding them vegetation. Simply start with a spinach leaf and dip it in some boiling water for a few seconds. This softens the leaf and makes it easier for the tadpoles to bite bits off of it and also helps rinse off any dirt or pesticides that may be on the leaf. Once that is done, cut the leaf into small squares and simply float the pieces on top of the water. Now don't worry if your tadpoles don't start eating straight away. Sometimes they don't realise that the spinach leaf is food for maybe a day or so. Um, just keep trying. Um, if they don't eat after a few hours, take the leaf out, try it again later on with a new leaf and eventually they'll realise that it's food and they will start eating. You might be lucky like me and straight away they start eating it almost instantly. Um, but if they, if they don't, don't worry about it. Just keep trying and eventually they should eat. So what we'll do, we'll leave these tadpoles to have their dinner and we'll go out into the garden and we'll see what kind of things we can get up to out there. Right, so the plan is for the garden here is to separate this half of the garden from this half of the garden. This half we're going to leave to grow wild and let the grass grow and hopefully some wildflowers take over. And this half we're going to keep kind of a bit neater, a bit more traditional, trim, mow the lawn, keep the hedge trimmed, that sort of thing. 
That's the neat side, this is the wildlife side. Let's go down a bit further and see what we can find. So this area of the garden is going to be the main focus for the wildlife area. Most of the stuff I'm going to dig up and we can completely change. This has been kind of uh, left neglected for a few years. I've not really ever done anything, uh, not really much of a gardener myself. Um, but we're going to change this and we're going to plant some wildflowers. We're going to put in a mini pond and we've got lots of uh, things planned. So this bush here behind me, this is called a budlia. It's also known as a butterfly bush. Now you might think that a butterfly bush would be a good thing to have in a wildlife garden to attract the butterflies. And there's no doubt that when this plant is in full bloom, it does look spectacular and the bees and butterflies absolutely love it. But there is one problem with it. Now the problem we have with this bush is it's native to Asia. It's not a UK native plant. So there are no species of butterfly that we use this plant to reproduce on and it doesn't provide a food source for caterpillars. So what the plan is, is to get rid of this bush completely and replace it with a native species that the butterflies will actually reproduce on and the caterpillars will actually be able to eat. <laughs> Okay, so what I realise now is uh, I've cut back some of the bush, not a huge amount, but I've actually, uh, there are sort of three or four stems in there that I really just need to get in there with a saw and just hack down rather than just sort of cut it all down. Uh, now I don't actually own a saw, so I'll need to get one of those at some point. Uh, so for now, we're going to leave this, move on to the next part of the project. So the next part of the project is to turn this old sink into a mini pond. What we need to do is clean it up. I need to try and get rid of this uh, sort of silicon sealant stuff that's around here that was from when it was fixed into a, uh, into a worktop. And we also need to uh, seal up the plug hole so that uh, water doesn't come out. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff we need to do to get this ready. We're going to dig a hole in the garden, we're going to sink it in and turn it into a bit of a pond there. So uh, let's get started. <laughs> Well, I've been scraping for quite a long time now, a good hour at least, and I've got most of it off. There's still some very stubborn bits around the corners. It's going to take a little bit more work to get this uh, completely done. And then, of course, I need to clear it up completely, clean it out and uh, seal up the plug. Uh, but we're going to leave that to another time. The um, clouds have uh, come across. It looks like it's going to rain any moment. So um, I'm running out of time now anyway. So I'm going to call it a day. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, this is going to be a long-term project. It will happen over the, the next few weeks and months as we gradually add to it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can come up with and seeing what sort of things I can do out here in the garden. And hopefully we can get this looking nice and uh, make this a nice little mini pond environment. Um, but yes, it's getting a bit windy. It's getting cold. And it's going to rain, so I'm calling it a day. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next week for more Frog Watch. Goodbye.